Boston now up 2-1 in this best of seven series taking on the Houston Astros the defending World Series champions Mookie Betts back in the leadoff spot Andrew Benintendi hit second and then the designated hitter J.D. Martinez Xander Bogarts Rafael Devers and Steve Pierce in the middle Charlie Morton 34 years of age going on 35 and just getting better with age coming off his best season of his career that's one out of five yesterday and he is hit by a pitch Charlie Morton and Rick Porcello hit a lot of batters that intended three hits in this ALCS that's a roller and Gonzalez gloves spins and throws him out heck of a play for the game's first out bets to second base you'll notice Jose Altuve not at second again tonight he's in the DH role for the second here's a three two and it's outside ball four J.D. Martinez draws the walk first and second with one away and that gets by Maldonado both runners will advance. Martin Maldonado did not start yesterday. Brian McCann was the catcher for the Astros. Bogarts, a swing and a miss. Down he goes. That's a big strikeout early for Charlie Moore. No balls, two strikes. Devers in the air left center field. It is down a base hit. Betts is in the score. Martinez will score. And the Red Sox strike first again. Rafael Devers with a two RBI single and it's two nothing Boston right out of the gates two out RBIs there's a bouncing ball off the bat of Steve Pierce on the first pitch he is retired and the inning is over Boston starts it just the way they want shake up in A.J. Hinch's batting order I mean George Springer has been the leadoff hitter for this team for well over two years. They're switching it up for many reasons. One, they want to see if the Red Sox will pitch Bregman different. Is the leadoff man. You mentioned over two years. There's a bouncer out to short. The shift was on, and that's Bogart who takes care of Bregman for out number one. We've seen him in a relief role already in this postseason. He's been excellent all across the board. You know, his last two postseasons have not been good. Just the opposite, been excellent as well. He's 29 years of age. Now Springer drives one right center field. And that's down. A base hit. Jackie Bradley Jr. cuts it off. George Springer. He's already found a home in the two spot in the order. Altuve. Right field. Back there. Bats at the track. He leaps. And it is out. It's off a fan. No, they're saying off of Bats. It is in play. They may be calling it interference. I'm trying to get a read on the right field umpire here. Mookie with the jump. He had it measured. It looked like he was going to catch it. And he gets stopped mm. from catching it from the hand of the fan. The fan closed his glove, closed Mookie Betts' glove pre prematurely because it pushed up against the leather. Parts of this ballpark that you always have an issue. See, he said, yeah. Mookie's saying, he closed my gloves. Close my gloves. So what's important here yeah. is what the call on the field was. And so deep that his glove might have been in the first row of play. Did they reach over that yellow line into the field of play? Or is Mookie over the field right. of play into the stands? Yeah, that's the That's key. the question. Alex Cora saw it right away as it to prevent a fielder from catching a ball batsman should be called out and out oh. is the call. Wow. Wow. And that hit him. That hits Gonzalez and now it's first and second. Postseason. Astros would love to get him going and he hits that one in the air to right field much easier chance for Mookie Betts Boy, fireworks in the bottom of the first and Altuve thinking he had a two run homer Betts to be riled up and now Brock Holt on the first pitch sliding to a stop vintage Roberto Alomar Marlon Gonzalez makes a play uh, it's hard to keep your command. 
And there's ball four. It's not only that for a manager. Finishing off game seven. Betts sends it high in the air to center field. That's going to stay up there for Springer. And Morton with a scoreless inning. To the bottom of the second, the Astros are the Chicago White Sox. Rick Porcello back to work. And Reddick goes down the line. That is a fair ball. Extra bases for Reddick. Just his second hit of the ALCS. Porcello deals. And a base hit. Reddick got a late start. Had to make sure it went through. They're going to send him home. And the throw is cut off. It is an RBI for Correa. Astros are on the board. 2-1 Boston as Carlos Correa with an RBI single. And he got him. A strikeout for Porcello. Out number two. Where Porcello has to challenge him. He does so. Up the middle. Got a shift on. Holt is there. And Porcello gets through. The Astros second inning Houston scores a run one yesterday three wins in a row Ben gets into that one deep center field long run for Springer that one's got a chance and this one's off the top of the wall that one's in play and it'll be a double for Andrew Ben he missed a home run by inches lead off double for Andrew Ben looks like it's down a couple of ticks. Compared to the regular season, but a breaking ball gets the swing and a miss. That was right down the middle. Runner at second with one away, and that gets away from Maldonado. Over to third base goes Benintendi. That is significant with one away. Now, runner at third, one out, three two pitch on the ground. That is a fair ball. In the score, Benintendi. It hits the side wall. On his way to second goes Bogarts. He is in with an RBI double. Boston gets the run right back. It's 3 1 Red Sox. So Morton will exit. The Astros starter is out. Bogarts sends him to the clubhouse. Welcome to the game, Josh. He's, he's a great story, Brian. You'll get into it later. But as far as stuff is concerned, throws 100 plus, as you saw fastball. there. Huge spike in the fastball. And a strikeout. He goes back to the heat. Yeah, Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express with the haymaker on the ground in the hole. Diving Bregman, he's got it to his feet. The throw is low and dug out by Guriel. Heck of a play. Both ends. Bregman to Guriel. Bregman has put on a defensive clinic this postseason. You can add one more. Rick Porcello, New Jersey native, back on the mound. A high fly ball. Springer's watching this one. He knows he got it. And she's gone. Springer launches. Won it in 2016. Now Altuve, that's deep. Way back. Benintendi on the run. It's off the top of the wall. Altuve cranks it up on his way to second. The tag. He's safe. And he's hobbled. He thought he'd hit one out. And now the one two. High fly ball got in on the hands just enough. And Betts. Will make the play. Altuve is going to start, then stop. Look at the throw by Betts. One of the great throwing arms in the game. That one is going to fall. Base hit. Altuve around third, headed home. He will score. And Josh Reddick ties it at three. It's an RBI single with two away. One more batter. And a swing and a miss. Correa out in front of a sweeping breaking ball. That ends the inning, but it is a two run Not inning. The Loch Ness Monster. We blew that up so you could see the call. <laughs> As Vasquez strikes out. And James here with two away. And he missed. And it's ball four. Jackie Bradley Jr. draws a walk. Martin Maldonado was arguing that blah, 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 ball. That ball hit the bat of Bradley.
No, not even close. There he goes. Throw to second base on the bag. The tag. He's out. What a throw. A little redemption for Maldonado, the gold glover from a year ago. Fires a strike. Right on the back. For a runner on when Bregman comes up to minimize the opportunities. He's turning on this one. That's got a chance down the line. It is a fair ball and a home run. And the Astros lead. Tony Kemp goes deep. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Bregman's 0 for 3. 3 and 1. Springer takes a ball on base for the third time. A single, a home run, now a walk in left field. And that gets away from Pierce on his way is Springer. And he'll stop at second. An error to get Springer into scoring position. Tuve pops it up. Had him out in front. Pierce back in the grass. And that will retire the side. But the Astros have taken the lead. The pride of Vanderbilt. Tony Kemp. And the one two. And it's a changeup. So he counters that skill. Now you're playing against the best talent in the league. Benatendi in the left center field. And that's hit well. Going to bounce at the base of the wall. And an opposite field double for Andrew Benintendi. It comes with one away. Tying run at second base. And Martinez pulls it on the ground. Correa's got a great arm. Throw is a hop. And safe is the call. Martinez sniffing that base hit. Able to leg it out. Good stretch by Gurriel. Is it in his glove before he touches the base? I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it. He's, he'll be out at first. Just and he's out. Overturn. A shot up the middle and a base hit for Bogarts. Benintendi around third. Throw comes home and he's safe. We're tied. Xander Bogarts delivers again his second RBI hit. And it's 4 4 here in the fifth. First run here in the fifth. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Four punch outs. Two and two thirds. However, warming up for a while down in that bullpen. Yeah, newly shorn Joe Kelly. He's appeared in two games in this series. That's on the ground up the middle of base hit. Wasting no time. Guriel with a single Time reliever the last two and a swing and a miss Reddick strikes out for the second out of the inning. Murray. There's a good block on the run goes Guriel throw to second not in time outstanding base running by Guriel. Vasquez did all he could do there games and there's a ground ball through base hit. Guriel is coming home throw from Benintendi not in time. And Correa delivers. Astros are back on top as Carlos Correa with his second hit and his second RBI of the game. Bouncing ball. Bogarts with plenty of time. And he makes a play to end the inning. But the Astros strike again. Two out RBI single for Correa. It could be David Price tomorrow as Pierce strikes out. Josh James. Bridge the gap in the air right field hit on the barrel long run for Springer. He's at the track he leaps and it's off his glove and off the wall in play. Vasquez a belly flop into second base with a double. Springer almost caught it. And a high drive way back. Jackie Bradley Jr. sends it out of here. And Boston is back on top. A majestic home run 
for JBJ. How about nine two out RBIs in his last three games. And the Red Sox are in the lead. Bit out of Josh James. Mookie Bet sends one deep left field. Kemp going back. Feeling for the wall. He makes a catch. A leaping catch up against the wall for Kemp to end the inning. Pitchers beware in a game like this. Rodriguez is in, starting pitcher throughout the regular season. And he lost him. Brought in to get the lefty. Alex Cora was almost. And he gets the tough task. Bregman, Springer, Altuve. Bergman to center field. <laughs> Routine for Jackie Bradley Jr. Kemp not tagging. He'll retreat to first. On the ground. Cutting over Devers goes to second and just out at second base. Close play. Pulls it hard on the ground right to Devers. He'll go the easy way to second and the inning is over. And Ryan Brazier's coming out party in the 2018 postseason continues. Well, Presley's been the best thing to happen to this bullpen since he came over from Minnesota. And you can see what he's he done. And a shot back up the middle, base hit. On a two strike pitch, J.D. Martinez with a one out single. Full count, one away. Martinez goes, pitches outside, ball four. Bogarts reaches again. His third trip on base. Bouncing ball. Correa gloves it, goes to the back, throw to first, and it is in time. Or no, they're saying he was off the base at second. The throw to first is an out. Good. Outstanding job by Wegner. Just trying to get his left foot on the corner of that back. Didn't get it there, but got the out at first. So it does go as a 6 3 put out on Devers. Crowd is up. And Pierce draws the walk. They are loaded up on the mound for Houston. So all that success, Presley against left handed batters. A.J. Hinch goes to McCullers Jr. See what he gives him. And he missed. And it's ball four with the bases loaded. An RBI the easy way for Brock Holt. On the ground, bouncing ball right to Guriel. He'll take it himself. And that will retire the side. Houston gets a big out, but a run is in on a bases loaded walk. Shift is on for Gonzalez. And a little flare, long run, falling, base hit. Marwin Gonzalez just muscles one. Two and one, and that's off the end of the bat. Another little flare. Betts broke back, now screams in to make the catch. He got a late start on that. Correa hits it hard down the right field line. That is a fair ball. Racing around Gonzalez, he'll be held at third. And Correa with a double second and third two gone in the seventh inning a 7 5 lead Alex Cora gives the ball to Matt Barnes almost all those numbers for Matt Barnes are career best Barnes deals and a cold Whoa. strike three Barnes strikes him out looking went back to the breaking ball in the air center field Springer closes and makes a catch what a play. Top speed. He's had some big hits. Not a lot of them. A base hit to left. And Betts will turn. Settle for a single. At 32 homers. That's going to get away from McCann. Back to the screen it goes. And a wild pitch. Will advance Betts into scoring position for Boston. And that's into center field. A base hit. Betts. Will head home. It's an RBI single for J.D. Martinez, and it is 8-5 Boston. The tack-on runs for the Red Sox. These two. Correa gets a nice easy hop, and that will retire the side. But Boston keeps tacking runs on. Craig Kimbrell will start the eighth inning. 
the Red Sox closer looks like he's out for the final six right. outs. They're up for Houston tomorrow. There's a first pitch swing and a base hit by Kemp. And he's thinking about two and he's on his way. That's his throw to second. The tag. Oh. He is out at second. What a throw. And what a mistake by Tony Kemp. Cannot get thrown out to start an inning down three. That hit him? Yep. It did. Bregman will reach. That's in the right. A base hit. What a piece of hitting by Springer. And they're off to the races. Bregman will go to third. Springer is in the second with a double. Just like that. Even with the out at second. On the ground is short. Backhanded. Bogarts. The long throw is a good one. A run will score. Makes it a two run game. That's an RBI for Altuve. Got a man on here. Springer goes. And a strike on the corner. Springer makes it to third. Stolen base. Runner at third. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Craig Kimbrell gives up one. Fastball, breaking ball, and split finger change for Sip. Devers strikes out. Sip deals, and Pierce takes a ball. And another man on for the Red Sox. Sip deals, and a shot into right field, a base hit. Pierce will hold at second. It's a single. And the Red Sox are back in business here in this ninth inning. He's on the pitch. Sandy Leone's going to bat for the first time. We got an out last night. Needs to get two tonight. Leone in the center field. Hit pretty well. Back is Springer. And he's got it for the out. Tagging is Pierce. He'll end up at third base. That's the second out of the inning. There he goes. And it hits Bradley. Drilled him. And they are loaded up. He wears that protective pad on that. In the air right center field. And it is a dive. And it is a catch by Reddick. Whoa, what a play. Josh Reddick, the gold glover. The 0-1. In the air. Scraping the roof up there. Foul territory. Kinsler makes a basket catch. Heck of a play. Kimbrell deals. And it's ball four. And the Astros will bring the tying run to the plate. Handed bat awaiting. And that's a breaking ball. It misses. And Kimbrell has walked back to back hitters. The Astros are alive and well here in the ninth. Two. Kimbrell deals. McCann in the air, right field. And Betts will settle under it just shy of the track. There is out number two. Tagging is Reddick. And Kimbrell is an out away. The 3 2. Correa goes. It's ball four. And the bases are loaded. And Bregman is coming up. To the bat with two outs. Kimbrell deals. Bregman in the air, left field. Ben Intendi dives. And he makes the catch. Sox win on a spectacular catch by Ben Intendi in left field. Wow. What a game. What a finish.